Welcome back. In the world of politics, the All Progressives Congress has won all the 57 chairmanship seats in the election into 20 local governments and 37 local council development areas, which was held on Saturday across the state. That's according to the State Independent Electoral Commission, which conducted the polls. Spokesperson for the state electoral body, Mutsu Abuke, however, says the APC won 346 of the 349 councillor seats. For both the local government and local council, we have 57 local government, local government area and local council development area. For these 57, APC has won the entire 57 chairmanship seats in all these areas. While PDP has won nothing, while UPN has won nothing, for the councillorship, out of 349 councillorship seats, APC won 346. Why PDP won a seat at Ono Otun Ibogila Ward in Yewa South local government? Why UPN won at Okeodon Ward in Ifekowajo local council development area? and at uh, Omuwad in Leguru, LCDA. The Supreme Courts of Nigeria have begun their 2018 FIFA World Cup qualifier on a winning note in Ndola. The former African champions beat the Chipolo Polo of Zambia by two goals to one to pick all available points in their opening round of games in Group B. Arsenal's Alex Iwobi got the opener in the 33rd minute and Manchester City's Kelechi Hyanacho made it two just two minutes before halftime. Collins Mbesuma got the consolation for the Zambians in the 71st minute of the second half. Nigeria's next game will be against Algeria in Uyo, Akwaibon State, on November 12th. Zambia being punished here into the last three minutes and Zambia trailing by two goals to new. A handball appeal there, keep it, not keep it, but so many to go! The 2015-2016 Nigeria Professional Football League runners-up, Rivers United, will prepare for next year's CAF Champions League under the guidance of European champions Real Madrid. Rivers State Governor Nyesum Wike at the weekend approved a pre-season tour of Madrid for the team after finishing second in the NPFL. The State Governor also rewarded each player of Rivers United with 500,000 Naira each while Coach Stanley received a million naira for his efforts in the 2015-2016 season. Both Rivers United and NPFL champions Inugu Rangers will flag the country's flag at Africa's biggest club competition next year. In tennis, Agnieszka Radvanska earlier today won her 20th career WTA title after a dominant 6-4, 6-2 victory Yay, over Britain's Lisa. Johanna Conta in the China Open final. The 2011 champion did not drop a set on her run to the title and closed out her win over Conta in an hour and 36 minutes. Conta, who will be guaranteed a top 10 spot when the new rankings are released tomorrow, committed 34 unforced errors against Radvanska and struggled on serve. The ball finished with just eight unforced errors and wrapped up victory with an ace. Meanwhile, British number one Andy Murray also beat Bulgaria's Grigor Dimitrov 6-4-7-6 in the final of the China Open to claim his 40th career title. Murray closed out the match in an hour 57 minutes to draw closer in the rankings to world number one Novak Djokovic in the battle for the year-end top spot. 
The Briton is now 1,555 points behind Djokovic, who could not defend his title in China because of an elbow problem. With plenty of points up for grabs at the remaining events of the season in Shanghai, Paris and the Tour Finals in London. His schedule to play next in the Shanghai Masters this month. few hours, uh, U.S. Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump and his team uh, will, and his Democratic rival Hillary Clinton will participate in the second presidential debate, but it's, however, it however appears to have been overshadowed by recent obscene remarks about women made by Mr. Trump. Uh, his advisor Rudy Giuliani said Trump may well bring up Mrs. Clinton's alleged role in discrediting women who accused her husband, Bill, of sexual abuse. A 2005 recording of Mr. Trump reveals him bragging about groping women. At least 33 senior Republicans, including senators, members of Congress and state governors, have withdrawn their support since the video surfaced last Friday. Mr. Trump, who gave a video apology over the 2005 recording, says there's zero chance he will quit the race for the White House. And the main news again. Residents of communities along the lagos Ogun River Bank today counted their losses after several of them were rendered homeless due to massive floods. The floods which are made worse by the opening of the Ogun Dam has made several communities inaccessible. That's News at 10 tonight. Thank you for watching. I am Amarachi Ubani. This is Channel's Television, celebrating 21 years of professional broadcasting.